The Marriage of Cadmus and Harmony by Robert Colasso is a magnificent achievement that far surpasses any other contemporary retelling of the Greek myths that I've read thus far. Drawing from an eclectic pool of ancient sources including Pindar, Ovid, Plutarch, Livy and Homer to name a few, Colasso assiduously interweaves practically the entire canon of Greek mythology in a loosely chronological format, whilst interposing the stories with metaphysical commentary and psychological analysis. The book is written in an elegant yet accessible prose, and each chapter is thoroughly captivating. There is nothing superfluous to this text, no arduous passages, no digressions that were not welcome. The content is rich and sublime. Furthermore, Colasso is not one to shy away from delineating the more salacious elements of Greek myth, which of course are ubiquitous. We also get pertinent snippets of historical fact here and there, which serve to buttress the prevailing theme. What I found indescribably refreshing was that the myths, such as they are, inherently broad in scope of human behaviour, were told in a beautifully unapologetic manner, a matter-of-fact way, completely devoid of very, any parenthesis or postscript that almost every modern text includes in order to placate the reader's political sensibilities and preempt any offence, lest they have an ideological fit. Whilst the text undoubtedly presupposes a level of prior knowledge, I would not let that dissuade anyone from picking this up, even if they are unfamiliar with Greek mythology. This is a book that one could enjoy multiple times and glean a great deal of erudition from. It is nothing short of a masterpiece, in my opinion. Quote, Olympia was happiness itself for the Greeks, who were experts in unhappiness. The dense green in the Peloponnese has a hallucinatory glow to it, a glow the more intense for being so rare, with something final about it. The acid phosphorescence of the Aleppo pines, the darkly etched cypresses, the glassy streaked leaves of the lemon trees, the primordial bamboo, all seen against a backdrop of gently contoured hills modelled by Poseidon's thumb. <laughs> 